Hey there, Aries. Welcome. Um, before I begin with this um, second half of April 2024 reading for you guys, I just want you guys to know that um, posting the readings a little differently. Before I put posted them in groups like the um, air, the water, the fire, um, the earth. I'm not doing that any longer. Now I'm going to post them to the most views go first and the least amount of views I'll post last. Okay, so let's begin here. Let's see here. What do we have going on for Aries? What's the challenge for you guys? This card doesn't want to come for me. Travel. Okay, it's been a challenge to travel. Or you need to travel. You don't want to travel. Let's see what we get on that. Something about travel. Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius energy. Maybe finding balance or getting something to work. Something maybe, it might have been tough to try to get your travel plans to work or something to work out here. Or you need to be patient. But there is an opportunity coming here with the Ace of Pentacles. You might be getting a golden opportunity to travel. Maybe you're not sure about it. We do have the Page of Swords. That might be a travel to learn something here. Because the Page of Swords could be learning something new. It could be um, looking into something, um, investigating something, studying something new. But it has something to do with travel. Okay, let's see. We have here. We have here a rake. So you might be raking something up, gathering something up. And I didn't, the first time I got this rake, I didn't know what to make of it. And then someone mentioned the old, um, I guess, the old, I guess it's the English. We call, someone calling someone a rank, rake, which is someone that I guess was more like a, a playboy type of energy. So someone might be a rake or, or a desirable character, I think it was considered, something like that. So I don't know if you, if you feel that way about this. This page of swords could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but you might be dealing with a rake. <laughs> well, I, I look at, at gathering things together with the rake. Let's see. So, and also with the um, page of swords being the one that is looking for information, all the air signs. Whenever you have, a, whether it's a page or the knight or the queen or um, the king, it's all about the intellect. So let's see about the. Um, the temperance card here we have a page of wands oh so it could be something about a message coming let me get a charm on that like um aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with right and we have someone might want a commitment long term and then we have here but someone's stressing out over this opportunity that might be coming in. That might be the challenge. Okay, maybe you're getting an opportunity to travel, but some for some reason, something might be coming in the way of that. Queen of Cups. It could be a Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Or it also could be represent. You could be the Queen of Cups too. It could be a could be considered a very loving and nurturing person. Also could be someone very intuitive. Okay. Um, let me get a charm on the Queen of Cups then. So we have three people in your challenge plus travel. Oh, again, an anchor. So something about... Mm, or less, this anchor it means being stuck. That could be too. The anchor could also mean yeah, anchoring something down, sticking, having something stuck or not wanting something to move. Someone could be trying to stop you from going on a trip or trying to travel and stressing you out. Let's see about the Page of Wands. It could be a boss. It could be a spouse, a friend. Or Let's see with the communication. Maybe someone's not getting back to you on, on communication for your travel plans. We have Want, Unknown, After, Mystery. So... Someone wants something that's unknown after, but it's, but it's a mystery. Okay, that is totally a mystery to me. So if it's for you, you'll know what it means. If it's not, you won't. Let's see about the page of swords. We have mature. Spying. That is a spy card, too. Um, sharing. Expect. 
some some may be mature but they, you can expect that maybe they might be spying on you and maybe sharing the information they receive someone could have put them up to it okay let's see about queen of cups insult present tower will you okay someone might insult someone here in the present or they could present them with something that's insulting or they could give them a present that they're insulted by but it's also gonna be some kind of shock and we have aries and scorpio as a tower and someone might be asking someone a question that starts with will you okay so we'll leave that there. It's a puzzle to me. It's a mystery to me. But if it's for you, you know exactly what it is. Because it can mean something different for everyone. If it means anything to you. Let's see about the past. Commitment. Okay. So why do we have commitment in your past energy? Let's see. Okay, so... The Nine of Pentacles, very independent energy, a single energy. Someone could be single or someone could be independently doing something here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny, and we have the World. So, endings, new beginning, completion of something here. Something might have been destined to complete and, um, and to end to start something new. This could also be that someone was committed to something. that they felt they were destined to do and it and it required a ending for a new beginning it also could be someone starting their own business in the past too doing their own thing let's see about this nine of pentacles king of wands Ooh, aries leo sagittarius let me get this could be you could be someone else Oh, we have the castle. So this is someone's home. So someone could be working from their home, starting a business in their home maybe even. This could also be someone that has good leadership skills or um, and very charming, very talented, very creative. What about the um, Wheel of Fortune? Well, look at the Eight of Wands. So you're going to have communication. Or, the, or sorry, you did have communication because this was past energy. Received communication, maybe back and forth communication. There's des something destined, some kind of news. Also, it could have been that someone cut down something that was blocking them or stopping them here. Okay. And the world completed. Start something new. Hmm. We have the sun, Leo energy. Whatever this is, it's either shone light on something, brought more clarity. It always makes any kind of negative cards better. And it also could be happiness. Something that brought in happiness. Let's get the words on the King of Wands. We have a part. The X player. Okay, so maybe you broke apart from the X because you found out there were a player. yeah okay let's go on to the present then let's see what's happening in the present for you guys manifestation nice okay so with that coming in the present remember what you think about you bring it back bring about so stay positive manifestation right now while i'm doing this we got the new moon eclipse going on so let's see we have here, ooh, four of pentacles. Someone might be holding back from something, holding on to something they're trying to manifest, or trying to keep someone from manifesting something. We have here the ten of cups, something around the family, the home, the family. And we might be juggling here. Juggling, trying always two to always decisions. There might be a choice between two. Mm. But someone might be also multitasking here trying to manifest something though let's see about the four of pentacles strength leo energy okay 
and then we have the fool okay so maybe someone has the strength to start something new to do something with the family to take an adventure take a leap of faith with the family and we have here oh definitely a commitment there might be someone trying to manifest a commitment but trying to figure out how to do it maybe with the two of pentacles having the strength to do this and you could be dealing with a leo with a aries aquarius wow Okay, I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any, um, I don't like putting charms or anything out. Okay, let's go on to the future. What's happening in the future? Spirit guide. Okay, so the spirit guide's going to come in. What we have this for the spirit guides for you guys. We have the king of swords. Okay. So the spirit guide could be guiding a king of swords to you. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone to help you. Someone that's very intelligent, very fierce, swift but fear. It also could be representative of a judge or a lawyer. And we have here the two of wands trying to make a decision at a crossroads. There could be something of a global aspect of this too. And we have justice coming in. Okay, so at least like your spirit guides are helping you to... They, this did feel more like a lawyer or, or a judge. Wait, you might be waiting for the results. It might be, is it going to go one way or the other? But it feels like justice can be served here. In the future. Let me see. Okay, we have a cleaver. So someone might be cutting something out. With the cleaver here, it could be representative of someone that uses a cleaver. This could be a chef, a butcher. Yeah, or maybe someone, I don't know. If someone's cutting something out, something needs to be cut out. Okay, let's clarify this now. Why is the King of Swords here? Let's see. King of Swords. Okay, there's going to be a victory here with the King of Swords. Attention, maybe it also could be that some maybe a king of swords is trying to get your attention, too. Okay, and the two of wands we have here, yeah, someone might be trying to figure out how to get your attention at a crossroads. Maybe they can't get your attention, but you might be putting up boundaries with the nine of wands. It also could be that saying that someone's been through a lot here with the nine of wands and they're protected. You also could be protected by the law here in the circumstance. Your guys are telling you that. Let's see, we have here, look at that, justice to, with justice. Libra energy, very strong. So yeah, it feels like the spirit guides are saying, you will get justice, or they're saying you're very protected. This also could be re representative of a contract coming in. And it's also, you could be, have. this is a victory too. Could be with a king of swords. Let's, um, you could also be the king of swords. Let's see. We have blank. Wow. Memories. Married. Past life. Oh. So you might be having memories of someone you might have been married to in a past life. Hmm. Blank is usually a clean slate, starting over, starting from scratch. You could, that could be, there might be justice coming in. You might be starting anew. This could also, for someone too, it could be like if you're going through a divorce, I would say that this is going to rule in your favor. It's going to be justice going to be served. The spirit guides are helping you and you get to start with a clean slate. And maybe even you could probably try to, maybe someone's trying to help you to clear away the memories of past life. I mean, you, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> That sounds a little far-fetched, but for some reason, I felt like it had to be said. I don't know how you... I mean, if you know, you know. Yeah, well, I'm going to leave that one there. Let's go on to what the important message is for you. Just know your spirit guides are around you, helping you, and the justice will be served. Inspiration. Okay, let's see about that. So we have the Hermit Virgo energy. This could be going deep within. Something's inspire you to look into something. 
to um, go further deeper. This could be, I don't know why I feel like someone might be wa writing their memoirs or writing something here or, you know, you're yeah, putting something down on paper, I'm saying, inspired to do so. We have the Harvard commitment here. This could also be higher education, so someone could be going back to school. It could also be inspiration for your faith and moving away from something here. So Six of Swords, this could be that you're relocating, you're moving. You're moving away from something that did not make you happy. You might be find, inspired by finding out something that you looked into to move on to something else. You might be trusting your faith. This might also be about a commitment, too. Let's clarify. The hermit. Why is a hermit here? We have the lovers. Ooh. So this could be a choice card. So you might have to make a decision about something here it could have something to do with something about searching deep within to find something it could be gemini energy too so we have virgo we have taurus we have gemini energy here six of swords aquarius let's see we have a knight of swords Ooh, this is a very determined energy knight of swords and we have here the devil Oh, someone's moving away from the devil. Someone's moving away from an energy that did not serve them. This could be some kind of bondage or something that someone felt connected to that they didn't want to be connected to. This could be, someone could be moving away from fear, from lust, from jealousy, from obsessiveness, from possessiveness, from addictions. Anything that feels like they've been tied down to. It could be actually moving away from a Capricorn. But we do have the Knight of Swords here. Very determined energy. Failure is not an option with Knight of Swords. So let's get a charm on the Knight of Swords. We have here. Oh, we have a diamond. Oh, this Knight of Swords might want to get engaged. Wow. Okay. Let me get the words right away on that then. we have here return important together past okay it looks like someone from the past is returning they might be proposing and it, it's very important whatever they're saying they want to be together with you so it could also be a re important oh wait important return from the past yeah you could rearrange these words in any way you want here okay that makes sense to you in your circumstances let's see about the advice home okay let's see what we got going on with the home okay there feels like someone's bored at home you know something they need to do something at home they're bored with it or something Something's not, they're not happy at, they're dissatisfied with something at home. Or it could be a missed opportunity to do with the home, with the family, the house. We have options, choices, confusion, delusion, uncertainty. Ah, we have a, a connection here though, a partnership. You might have choices and partnerships and someone could also feel like they missed out on a partnership. Let's see about this. The Four of Cups. We have the star, Aquarius energy. So this could be hopes, wishes, dreams here. And for the seven of cups, we have this a seven for a seven. That's pretty interesting. We have here the seven of wands. Seven of wands, a lot of times, is like fighting for something, um, be, like being above the rest. But this card here, it looks like someone's walking out of the woods or something and into some seeing something different. It almost feels like you're walking out of being trapped. So I would say there's some kind of victory of finding your way. Okay, maybe finding your way after being confused. and something to do with the home. Now there's two of cups. We have the world. You might be ending some kind of partnership to start a new one. Or completing something with a partnership. Closing something off here. I, I almost feel like there's a, a energy of just finishing something here. 
So you might be you might be finishing up a project at home here, or it's advising you to hurry because this is advice. So this could be advice to finish something up with something here. Make up your mind. You're going to see clearly. There's something that can make you happy though, but you're completing something. Completing cycles start something new. Let's see about the possible outcome for you guys. We have financial health. And on the bottom, you don't see coming. There's forgiveness coming in here. Either you're forgiving someone, someone's forgiving you, or maybe forgiving each other. Or it could be some kind of forgiveness. Let's see about the financial health. We have here the Knight of Swords. Coming in very quick here. Fast energy, determined energy. And we have, oh, wait, wait, look at that. Knight of Swords and the Devil. Knight of Swords and the Devil. What is happening here? Okay, Capricorn energy. And we have a burden here. Okay. Someone's walking away from something. Someone might be walking away in order to get forgiveness to someone, or someone's walking away to go to for ask for someone forgiveness. Someone's definitely moving on from something, though. Okay, let's see about this Knight of Swords. Interesting how we have the Knight of Swords, important information, Knight of Swords, and outcome. So this is definitely something that's going to be looked at here. We have here scissors. Okay, cutting something out with the Knight of Swords. You could be cutting Knight of Swords out, or they could be cutting something out. This Knight of Swords could be cutting out a bad habit that has been a burden. That's coming in the end. That's what I think it is. That someone's moving away from a bad habit. A ba something that was holding them back. That was a heavy burden. They're moving on from it. And that's giving financial health. It could have been something. Maybe you're gambling. Okay, let's see about this Knight of Swords. We have here. They Look at this person throwing out a cup here. It's like they're bored. They don't want this. Forget this. I, I feel like someone's getting rid of something here. Okay, we have the scissors. We have the devil with the burdens and the knight of swords. And then we have this person throwing a cup away. It feels like someone is being disposing of something, being over with something. Okay, the devil. We have here two cups. Partnership. Oh. We have the Hierophant, Commitment, and the bottom deck. We have a Queen of Pentacles here. So the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone could be walking away from something to come to the Queen of Pentacles for forgiveness. The Queen of Pentacles could be giving someone forgiveness here. And it also could do with something with money. Okay, let me get... Someone might be forgiving someone for something about money. We have here, oh, Pegasus. It's going to be good news, whatever it is here. Okay, so let's go back to this. So we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords might have feel, feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you, maybe. We have the Devil Energy. Someone could be obsessing over a connection, a partnership. They might feel like it was a soulmate connection. Could be a very unhealthy attachment here. But we have the end of a heavy burden. We have the Hierophant. Now this could be higher learning. Where was the Hierophant? The Hierophant. Look at this. The Hierophant was here. I can't believe these cards are together again. We have the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, and the Devil. The Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, and the Devil. What else is in here? This is moving away. Okay. And we have the Hermit, the Lover. Okay, but the Lovers is very close to the Two of Cups, too. And the other one was the Hermit. And this, But you know what? We do have... We do have this, like, disposing of here. This one's throwing the cup over, and we also have the scissors. So someone's definitely getting rid of something. Okay, let me get the words on this Knight of Swords. So I would say something about a commitment, faith. We have married, obsessed, confessed. Someone is probably ending something with a person that they were um, maybe obsessing over. But this person might have been married. 
Maybe that's what it is. Here's the connection here. The devil with this it's obsessing over this connection there. Here's the, the higher event might be but the commitment, the marriage. And now this person saying, I can't do this anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be waiting for you to get divorced. I'm not gonna be waiting for you to get free. In the end, they're walking away, they're saying, I'm done with this. This is too heavy of a burden. And someone's confessing something here. This married person could be confessing that they're obsessing over this other person, but it's not going to be because this person feels like maybe the the devil and with the um, ten of wands here that they cannot break free from this connection here, even if they do love this other person. Wow. Okay. Take it if it resonates. Leave if it doesn't. Um, let me see what signs you could be working um, working with here. This could be placement in your chart, placement other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have here a Leo. A Libra. The top one. A Cancer. A Virgo, Taurus, and the bottom we have Scorpio. Okay, so placement your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Leo, Libra, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, and Scorpio. Okay. You know, it's interesting how on this card here, we have the diamond for this knight of swords so is someone proposing to someone when they're already married return important together from the past i almost feel like someone's given someone a diamond engagement ring but they're not breaking free from their marriage it's like here's something so it's like more or less pacify someone it's saying i'm going to give them the diamond so this is saying how much i'm committed to this but what good is the diamond if you never get married that's what i'm feeling for someone here this is that devil energy you definitely could be dealing with a capricorn here too um it could be any sign though all right guys so um I actually hope that doesn't resonate with a lot of you guys if, it, if that is the situation here because that doesn't feel good. But there are other things that might be working out. In your oh, let me get put the words on this Queen of Pentacles. As I said, someone might be coming, asking for forgiveness, coming in with an offer here or some, something maybe. Before finish serious. Yeah, so maybe someone's going to say they're fin they're maybe before they finish something and they are serious but the person might be coming back so here someone might be coming back for forgiveness someone walked away from someone and this might be the same energy here the queen of pentacles it's male or female or someone's coming towards the queen of pentacles trying i you guys you could always switch these around all right guys so take if it resonates leave if it doesn't um if you checked out your sun and it did not resonate, well, check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more or it might give you um, the missing piece, the something that makes things click better, you know, the mi missing piece of the puzzle. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.